Yeah, it was uh, say nearly in seventies. I was in Delhi, and I, I we stayed in this uh, this uh, Hyderabad house, uh, and we gave a performance at uh, Hotel Ashok, and you know that uh, there's a very famous uh, one performing house, Sapru house or something Sapru over house. there. Yeah. Right. Uh, we gave our Nepali uh, cultural concert over there. At that time, I was doing uh, both the way, you know. Sometimes I used to dance and sometimes I used to sing. Mm -hmm. You but, should uh, dance also? Dance also. Uh, I was very perform, you know, at that time I was a very good dancer. Mm -hmm. But I, when I slowly grown older one, what then I dance? became a typical Nepali dance. Nepali dance. Nepal okay. dance. Right. Uh, then, I became a singer now. Have you met uh, Jawaharlal Nehru personally? Yeah. When he came, I don't know the time, actually, I, I can't, first when he came in Nepal, at that time, now it's already gone. Mm -hmm. uh, at Singhudarabad, there was one theater hall, you know, mm -hmm. he was there. So I danced at that time, and he recognized me. So that time, uh, oh, kya bole tha ki, karte ho karke par diye the wo. कि अच्छा करते हो तुम करो तो बाद में करीब सेवेंटी में दिल्ली में गए तो वो पहचान लिए हमको तो वो अरे तुम भी हो यहाँ पर तो कह रहे कि हाँ प्रधानमंत्री जी हम यहाँ पर हैं अब क्या कर रहे हो इस समय अब तो गाना भी गा रहे हैं और डांस में भी काम करते हैं बोला अच्छा करो बस आफ्टर डेट आई थिंक ही डाइड एंड ए as a thespian of the art scene in Nepal, yeah. Uh, so, can you just tell us about the art, the the present situation of art in uh, in like Nepal today? Is it are we are you heading towards the good or is there? Uh, can you hope for better better uh, words? I think you know because I let me be a very frank man about these things. When you are taking my interview, because the people they are divided themselves, mm -hmm. uh, they are running after the caste and religion and language. Uh, as far as uh, I very involved with many copyright system in Nepal and uh, Nepal uh, Music Association. I'm a chairman over there also. I was at that time. So I've learned many things about the Nepali. And we have a 170 languages. There are 4,200 different castes in our Nepal. So previously, we are together, whatever you sing, I used to praise you, and whatever dance or whatever culture you present at that time was very, you know, but now they all divided. So everybody wants to run after their own culture only. So this is the little bit bad things. It's happening in our country nowadays. The, but the other thing is, okay. The thing uh, up to, uh, you know, uh, Tribhavan, then Mahendra, then Birendra, and the last one is Gyanendra. The, all the three, four kings, you know, at the time, they used to, they liked our Nepali culture, especially dance and music and whatever the songs, it comes on the market. So they used to play. Nowadays, nobody is doing these things. Because the young, the recent, our leaders, I have never heard that they are praising our Nepali culture. So, I don't say that uh, I don't have to appreciate the young leaders about these things. Because the previous, every leaders, they, you know, when we go, they respect us. Ah, hey, how are you? What is your new songs? And like that, they used to ask us. But nowadays, they, they are not going. I don't know, they don't have, whether they, are, have, they don't have a time, or this and that, or whether they don't like it, our Nepali culture. That is the some biggest problem, it seems. And because of that, and another thing is because of the language. You know, I said you are a 70 language in Nepal, Nepal, very small country. The communities are, if you say it, from one caste, very few one. So it's not doing it. But previously, you know, if you sing from East Nepal, even Sikkim, Dajeng to Nainital, Dehradun, even Bombay in the South India also, there are lots of Nepalese, you know. Right. They, used to, they used to praise us. But the situation nowadays is not good ever further our 